What's up everybody? Today we're going to be tying a jig using one of the most productive color combinations I've ever fished. This jig is perfect for the beginner tire and it'll catch fish all day. So to tie this one I'm using a 1 16th ounce round jig head. It has a size 4 hook. I powder painted that with Protec Junebug. For the thread I'm going to be using a purple UTC Ultra Thread, 140 denier size. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. For the tail we're going to be using a yellow marabou feather. So I'm going to run my fingers up the feather from the stem just to straighten out the fibers. And then we can measure that out on the jig to make sure the length is going to be about the length of the hook. And once we've got that where we want it we're going to pinch that marabou feather right on the hook and just give it a few very tight wraps of thread. Then you can let go of the feather and tie up the butt end the rest of the way to the head. Make sure you keep tight turns so that the feather doesn't turn around. And once you tie that up to the head, you can clip off the butt end. It'll leave behind a lot of fluff, so we're just going to clean that up with the thread. And this is going to be covered up with our chenille, so we don't have to worry too much about cleaning that up. Now we're going to bring the thread back down to the tail to tie it tighter, and then bring it back up to the head. For the body, we're going to be using a large purple tinsel chenille. Just going to take a piece of that, tie the tag end in at the head, and tie the rest of the chenille down to the tail. Bring the thread back up to the head once again. Make sure you pull the tail fibers away from the chenille so they don't get trapped under that. And then you can start winding the chenille. You want to keep the chenille perpendicular to the hook shank and make sure each turn is pressed right up against the last so that there's no gaps in the body. We just want a nice full looking body. Turn that as many times as you need to to get it up to the head. And then give it a few tight turns of thread. And clip the chenille. Now we're going to whip finish. Give it a nice tight whip finish. Pull the thread tight and then cut it off. So that's all there is to it. This is a super simple jig. It's one of the most effective patterns I've ever fished for crappie. So if you're looking for something super easy to tie, make sure you test this one out. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.